Alright everyone and welcome back to good old universe mode. We are in the go home show to Royal Rumble and we've got Mr. Money in the Bank. Kevin Owens about to make his way out here tonight. What do you think is on Kevin Owens' mind? Is it something about the Money in the Bank briefcase? Is it about something else? I don't know. But as per usual, grab your snacks, grab your choice of beverage, get comfy and cozy because things are about to pick up around here as we have Mr. Money in the Bank kicking things off here tonight on SmackDown. So we're just going to see what unfolds. We are just going to see what unfolds. What's up WWE? We're going to get right to it. There's a lot that I have to say, a lot that I've been wanting to say. I'm sure you're wondering why I've waited so long. Truthfully, I've wondered the same thing. I've been quiet for far too long. So yeah, this has been a long time coming, but I'll promise it'll be worth it. You don't get as far as I have in WWE by ducking fights or talking your way out of trouble. However, some guys think they can talk their way to the top. That really grinds my gears and I aim to do something about here about this right here tonight. Starting with a challenge at Royal Rumble. Why am I not on the card for the show? I don't know, but I want in on the Royal Rumble show itself and not just the Royal Rumble match. Oh! So Kevin Owens issuing a challenge as to why he is not on the Royal Rumble show. You know, that's pretty fair. I mean, we do have a spot left. So there's, there's that. But either way, it appears to be that one Kyle O'Reilly is answering the challenge. This could be interesting, so grab your snacks for this one, kids. If this does indeed happen, of course. You never know what could happen. Anything could happen in WWE. That's, 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 how, that's how we roll around here. That's how WWE rolls. But what is Kyle O'Reilly out here for? Is he answering Kevin Owens' challenge? What's going on here? Or is it about the briefcase? Because Kevin Owens still has that briefcase for, well, a second time. So there's that, but, you know. You know. We're, we don't know where anything's going to go at this point. Please stop talking. Just look at the faces of the WWE Universe. You're literally killing them. So I'm here to put them out of... To, so I'm here to put them out of your misery and to shut you up. WWE Universe, make some noise if you want me to make this guy stop talking. Holy crap, who the heck proofread this stuff? You better hope and pray that whatever you want to say, it's something I'm going to want to hear. Very much like how you came out here to seemingly answer my challenge. Because I don't appreciate when wannabe tough guys come out here and interrupt me with useless nonsense conversation that goes nowhere. Choose your words carefully, just like you need to choose your battles carefully. Because if you want to match with me, you've got to go through one person to get to me at Royal Rumble. Well, who will that be, then? I'm, I don't know where this is going. I don't care how we get to it, but I just want to get my hands on you in a match and put you in your place. I don't care if it's a backstage brawl, a street fight, a cage match. It doesn't matter to me, because I'm going to beat you at Royal Rumble. You're talking some big game right now. While I respect it, it won't result in anything tonight. You've got to make sure that you go through whoever I select as your opponent tonight before you can get to me. A key part of communication is listening. Clearly you weren't listening to me before you interrupted me. Otherwise you'd know why I'm out here. And that's to make sure that I get on that Royal Rumble card somehow, some way. So if you go through my hand-picked opponent for you tonight, then you get to Royal Rumble and have a match against me. In fact, do you even know who you're talking to? Have you seen the matches that I've had in my career? Then what the hell would ever make you think that I would give you a match on a whim like this? That's why you have to earn it, just like I've earned everything in my career so far. What have you done in your career that would make you that would make you think that you could even seriously challenge me? If you win, we'll meet at Royal Rumble. But if not, it's nice knowing you. So if Kyle O'Reilly defeats Kevin Owens' his hand-picked opponent later on in the episode, then I guess we're gonna be seeing Owens versus O'Reilly, and god dang it, I want that to happen, and I think y'all want that to happen too. Alrighty, friends, here we go, here we go. We are kicking things off with another women's division matchup right here on SmackDown. And I think this is going to be quite a treat, and I think it's setting, it's setting things up. We've got a women's division matchup. And then, of course, we will hear from John Cena today in the episode as well. And, of course, we've got to find out who Kyle O'Reilly's taking on later on as well. So we've got a lot to look forward to in our go-home edition of SmackDown on the road to Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble will be indeed four episodes, I believe so. I have to still structure everything out, but we have, we're going to be getting 
11 or 12 matches, something crazy like that, between both Raw and SmackDown. So, that being said, just make sure to grab your snacks, grab your choice of beverage, get comfy and cozy, because we've got quite the episode on our hands, to say the least. And again, leave your predictions down below. Who do you think is going to win the Rumbles? Both of them, men's and women's. But here we go. Here we go, friends. We've got the latest acquisition to the women's division with Nikki Bella. And I guess Breeze joining the roster, too, by default. Look, the women's division is stacked. Over here on SmackDown, there's no other way around it. Why is Brock Lesnar's Tron up on the background? That's funny. We'll go in and fix that after we are done filming, but either way around, this should be quite interesting. I mean, we're, we're getting Nikki Bella versus Paige right before Paige takes on Tony Storm. We saw in the last episode, well, not Paige, but we saw Tony in the last episode get a big win over Lacey Evans. So it'll be interesting to see what all unfolds here tonight. So, we've got Nikki Bella. Brie Bella will be, of course, accompanying Nikki here tonight. And then, of course, we've got the SmackDown Women's Champion, Paige. Should be an interesting battle, to say the least. Here we go. we got Paige versus Nikki Bella here tonight. You've got to, you know, keep in mind that Nikki wants that opportunity for that Women's Championship. And Paige just, you know, wants to retain the title in some shape or form, right? Right. Oh, and a huge side rush and leg sweep onto Nikki Bella. Oh, man. Oh, God. A huge rope break right there. Huge, huge, huge rope break. And Nikki Bella now on the offense. Oh, God. Nikki Bella in control right here, but Paige with the counter into the strike. Huge takedown right there. Nikki Bella, of course, being back up on her feet. And Nikki Bella now going in for the cover. And a... Not even a one count, I don't think. Yeah, not even a one count. Oh, and a huge kick right to Nikki. Oh, huge clothesline from Paige onto Nikki Bella right there. Oh, man, what's happening here? Counter from Paige, counter from Paige, huge strike. Nikki Bella now, what is she up to? And this mission is locked in. Could this be it? Oh, oh, boy. What a counter right there from Paige getting out of the hold. Nikki Bella with the counter and a Paige counter right there. A Paige counter! You know what? Why why hasn't there been a move named after that or something? I don't know, but it flows and it works. go here we go both competitors are back up on their feet oh side Russian leg sweep right there from Paige and Paige is back in control right here oh spy buster from Dickie Bella onto Paige definitely 
shakes things up a little bit right there. And Nikki Bella now going in for the cover. Oh! Bella now trying to mount some sort of a comeback right here against Paige. You've got to wonder what happens if Nikki Bella pulls out the win here tonight. There's always that possibility, so I, I don't know. Oh, and here we go. Nikki Bella now going in for the cover. Oh, and a two count. And a two count. What a match we're seeing here, friends. What a match. And Nikki Bella, she might have it. Oh! The rack attack connects. Could this be it for Paige? Oh, and Paige kicks out. Paige kicks out. Oh, but Paige... Paige! Oh! God! That might be it, friends! Paige now looking to get some offense right here. Paige is trying to mount a bit of a comeback of sorts. See so what Paige can do right here. The momentum starting to shift into the SmackDown Women's Champion. Into the SmackDown Women's Champion's favor. Holy crap! Huge suplex, huge suplex from Paige right there. Counter from Bella gonna happen here? What's Nikki Bella up to here? Oh, what a huge slam! Paige rolls out of the way. Paige with a huge suplex on Nikki Bella. What's Paige up to here? Oh, she might have it again! Oh, and she connects. But Paige, she's looking to put things away sooner rather than later, I think. Into the Northern Lights, into the cover. Could this be it? And I guess that won the match, but you know what? A win is a win, and Paige gets the momentum heading into Royal Rumble against Tony Storm. What a match. Definitely a back-and-forth one for sure. And you know what? We, we had a lot of developments, to say the least. We have Nikki Bella and Brie Bella on the roster, so who knows what will unfold. But what I do know is this. It's that... We're going to be getting quite an interesting matchup Cub Royal Rumble, to say the least. I'm excited, and I hope you all are as well. What a matchup, and what a showing for Nikki Bella. Even strong in defeat. And Paige, of course, picking up a huge win here tonight. So we're just going to see what happens at Royal Rumble. All right, well, we're just running right into uh, this next segment, I guess. But John Cena's out here to potentially address the number one contenders tournament and his match at Royal Rumble against, I don't know, Samoa Joe? We're going to find out. We don't know what's going to happen. I mean, we've got to keep it We've got to keep our eye on that whole Kevin Owens and Sammy's... I hope you guys indulge me for a few minutes because I've got something serious I want to talk about. I usually do my talking with my fists, and that's not going to change. But before I do that, there's someone in the back I need to address. I've been in this business and faced some of the best at, of all time at one time or another. But to me, every single time I step through these ropes, it's like the first time all over again. I never get bored with the next challenge, the next obstacle. That's what keeps it exciting. Samoa Joe, I know you and I are destined to meet in this ring at Royal Rumble. I think we can tear the house down and have a match that will be talked about for ages. Let's not hold this off any longer. Come on down. But will Samoa Joe make his way out here in his presence felt? Possibly. I mean, his music just hit, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. But John Cena calling out the number one contender, the winner of the number one contenders tournament, Samoa Joe. But holy crap, people, we've got a, we've got a stacked show coming up for Royal Rumble, to say the least. Final card will be in the, in the description down below, potential spoilers and that sort of thing as well, but there it is.
We're going to just see what happens, right? Right. But this confrontation is something that I think a lot of us have wanted to see in general, so there's that. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're just going to see how this matchup all unfolds. Am I right? Right. I don't know what you tell yourself when you're talking into your hairbrush while looking into the mirror, but you've deluded yourself. There's no way that you're even close to being ready for a match with me. Oh man, I have to tell you, I was hoping for this. I really wanted you to come out here so that I'd have the chance to show you up in front of the entire entire universe. Let's get down to business. Let's ask the crowd. Between the two of us, which one of us is the better superstar? What's that? Well, guess what? I don't care what any of you think. I'm clearly the better superstar, and that's that. End of story. Look, I get it. You're out here trying to make some kind of point, and you're using me to do it. The problem with that plan is that you expected me to sit here and take it. However, I've been in the WWE long enough to learn that at some point the talking stops, and pretty soon you won't have a choice because it's going to be hard for you to speak when you're unconscious and looking up at those lights for the one, two, three. I would Samoa Joe and John Cena staring off at each other right now, but Samoa Joe with the punch right to John Cena. This man, I don't know what he got himself into, but Samoa Joe takes down John Cena right here. I mean, if there's anybody that could take down John Cena, you've got to think it might be Samoa Joe. You've got to think about that, really. If, I don't know. This is something special. This is certainly some sort of a special matchup that we're going to be going through come Royal Rumble. I'm excited for this matchup, but I hope you all are as well. Huge uppercut from Joe to Cena. Joe with the clothesline. Smoke Joe's going wild here on SmackDown, friends. Holy crap. What are, what are we witnessing here? But holy crap, friends. We've got Samoa Joe versus John Cena for that WWE Championship at Royal Rumble. But speaking of Royal Rumble, we need to see if Kevin Owens will have a match at Royal Rumble. But speaking of Royal Rumble, we need to see if Kevin Owens gets a match at Royal Rumble. Shall we? I think so. Alright, kids. Here we go. We are back. Uh, full disclaimer. Holy crap, that is loud in my headphones. I keep forgetting how loud that is. Uh, so full disclaimer, we took a break in between filming parts of this particular episode. Just life happens. But what I know is this. So basically in this whole situation here, Kevin Owens at the top of the episode. It's weird saying top of the episode versus top of the hour because of course broadcast background. But essentially Kevin Owens is like, I don't have a match. And so Kyle O'Reilly came out and was like, hey, you know what, I'll take you on at Royal Rumble, you know, to switch things up and keep things fresh on one condition. That Kyle O'Reilly defeats whoever his opponent is for tonight. So that's what's going on here. That's how we got to this point right here tonight. But dearest friends, I've got to see who in the world Kyle O'Reilly is going to be taking on. Because this this could get interesting. This could get nougaty. This could be good. I don't know what to, I don't know what to expect. None of us know what to expect. Except for we're going to get a good main event on the Go Home episode of SmackDown here in Universe Mode before Royal Rumble. We've got the Men's Rumble, we got the Women's Rumble, and we got God knows how many matches at this point. Oh, Sami Zayn. So I want to put this out as a disclaimer that we actually had this penciled in, like finalized everything and saved on Universe Mode before SmackDown happened on the... August 27th edition, because I started filming it, I believe, that very same day. It was like an hour beforehand, and then SmackDown started, and that's why I just decided to just jump off from this last episode. That's what happened. Okay, I wanted to watch SmackDown and Rampage. I just wasn't, I wasn't up for filming a reaction video that day. I, I wasn't. Sometimes you need mental health days, and that's all that matters. But... We've got Kyle O'Reilly versus Sami Zayn on our hands. What, what, again, what company are we in at this point? <laughs> what is happening? Let's get right to it, friends. Let's get right to it. All right, kids, here we go. We've got Kyle O'Reilly versus Sami Zayn. If O'Reilly wins, then he gets Kevin Owens at Royal Rumble. And if not, well, nothing happens, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Kevin Owens wants a match in some capacity, but there's that. But I mean, it keeps things fresh and it keeps things moving along and it gives something for people to do. So there's that. But we've got a pretty stacked show on our hands and 
we'll have that down in the description, you know, with the spoilers and all that good stuff. Right, right. As for the rumble, I need to be a little strategic about the rumble because I figured out that if you have any shred of con if you have any shred of con oh my god, where am I going with this? Words are hard. <laughs> if I have any shred of custom content, there we go, then it doesn't work. <laughs> On the 30 person rumble level at least. So, if there's anything weird, then that is why. I don't make the rules. 2K20 and it's crashes me. And Sammy Zay now going to town on Kyle O'Reilly. The 10 count has commenced along with the 10 count of punches. And he succeeds with all 10 punches. O'Reilly there with the counter. Let's see what happens here. Huge series of strikes on the Sami Zayn. Oh yeah, also, did I tell you all about my headset situation? So, I might have mentioned this in a previous video, but my headset headphone part stopped working for a bit. And then today, when I'm filming this match on the 28th, which is a Saturday, I ordered a new pair, like, right in the early part of the day, like early afternoon, I guess, to show up on Monday. And well, what do you know? As soon as I go to film this, guess what starts working? The headphone part. But Sammy Zane now going in for the cover. Are we getting the reuniting? Are we getting this reunion of of Cammy essentially? The, the Kevin and Sammy show? Their team? That whole thing? I don't know. Huge counter right there from Sammy to O'Reilly. Water's important. Stay hydrated. Zay now. Oh, with a huge move right there. Oh no, what's Sammy Zayn up to this time? Oh god. I, I I don't know if he got all of that on O'Reilly though, that's the thing. I, I don't think he got all of that move in there. Now Riley, what's he up to here? In the corner. Momentum might be starting to shift in Kyle O'Reilly's favor right here. We've got our main event right here on SmackDown. I, I feel like this would be something in an alternate reality at this rate, but here we are. Of course, Kevin Owens is Mr. Money in the Bank, round two. Because <laughs> this is the second time with the briefcase, but here we are. Oh, and he's like right in front of Kevin. Oh, wait, the rope break? Who got the rope break? We, we need to take a look at that a second time, but, you know, but whatever. We'll roll with it. <laughs> Sami Zayn with the clothesline. Sami Zayn now going in for the cover. Could this be it? And O'Reilly kicks out. Oh, and a counter. Oh, what a kick. All right, I, that, that that was, like, slightly delayed, but we'll, again, we'll roll with it. Sami Zayn now getting all fired up. The fans do not want Sami Zayn to win. You, you can tell. It's been a very interesting ordeal, to say the least, to say, to just see what unfolds. Oh, and Sami Zayn, he's got a crossface locked in. God, what's happening here? I just wasn't sure where anything was going, so I just had to triple check right there. It's like, Christina, you probably could have just turned on the momentum thing. Sure. We might have to come Royal Rumble to keep track of everybody. Kyle O'Reilly tossing Sami Zayn over the top rope and onto the outside of the ring. Oh boy. Kevin Owens is right there, too. Oh, and Sammy with the kick. Referee started the 10 count. Sammy Zayn just trying to get some momentum going right in front of his best friend, Kevin Owens. You are my best friend. <laughs> I, I need to stop. Well, to be fair, we had a little too much caffeine today. I will be real on that. Oh! Oh, O'Reilly, he might have something here. 
And he's got an armbar locked in. Oh, but that's really close towards the ropes. I could even see. I, I, even, I even saw that one that time. <laughs> I didn't see the other one, but here we are. Oh no, what's happening here? Sami Zayn just Irish whipped Kyle O'Reilly into the corner. Oh, and the Huluva kick! Jesus, take the wheel. Sami Zayn's got no chill, y'all. And Sami Zayn might have it here. Oh, and Sami Zayn! Why did Sami just do the thing? Oh, Sami Zayn. Oh, but you're near the ropes again, Kyle! Come on! <laughs> this is like, what, the third rope break? <laughs> well, the first one we didn't see. The second one we did see. <laughs> and then the third one, just now. We, we need to just have a match. We, we need to have the rule where we just do not have rope breaks. And where people don't leave the ring. There we go! That, that should be our weird new thing now. <laughs> No rope breaks, everybody just stays in place. What was that from Sami Zayn? This dude's unreal, my dude. This dude is unreal. Oh my god! What was that? No, Riley just rolled right out of the ring right there. Sami Zayn just walking around, pacing. Okay, see, there we go. We're away from the ropes this time. <laughs> But here we go, friends. Grab your snacks for this one at Royal Rumble. We are going to be getting this intriguing matchup between Kevin Owens, Mr. Money in the Bank, round two. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying it like that, but here we are. We've got a matchup between Kevin Owens, who is also Mr. Money in the Bank, versus Kyle O'Reilly. So, I don't know what's going to unfold at Royal Rumble or anything like that, but what I do know is this. We are getting that matchup. So just grab your snacks, friends. Grab your snacks for that one. Should be an intriguing battle, to say the least. Holy crap, we've got a stacked show. There you have it, friends, the final frame. As we head into Royal Rumble, we got some good music, you know, to add to the aesthetic and that sort of thing. So on the SmackDown side of things, we've got Samoa Joe versus John Cena for the WWE Championship. We've got Tony Storm versus Paige for the Women's Championship. We've got Randy Orton versus Trent Seven for the Intercontinental Championship. Tyler Bate versus Ricochet for the Cruiserweight Championship. We'll have the Usos versus the Street Profits for the World Tag Team Championship. God dang it, reload please, thank you. <laughs> Just like went dark on me. Uh, Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa versus Keith Lee and Matt Riddle. And of course, well, that one's going to be an Extreme Rules match. And then Kevin Owens versus Kyle O'Reilly. So it's going to be pretty stacked. Raw has a few matches as well, which also look really good. We've got Pete Dunne versus AJ Styles for the Universal Championship, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Cesaro for the United States Championship, Ronda Rousey versus Asuka for the Raw Women's Championship, and then that's it. And then we've got the Rumble. So, pretty stacked show on our hands, I would think, right? Right. So, leave your predictions. Who's going to win the Men's and Women's Rumbles? Again, Rey Mysterio is number 30 because he won King of the Ring. That was his stipulation and that sort of thing. But leave your predictions down below for the matches from Royal Rumble, and that listing will be down in the description, and I'll try to remember this if possible. We'll get it pinned in the comments as well. So on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in. I will see you all around next time. Bye, everyone.